New this morning, the latest Denver Metro housing report shows something we have <laughs> not seen in a while. Home prices have dropped. Yeah, so we're taking an in-depth look at the latest report from the Denver Metro Association of Realtors. The change with the prices and listings, the impact from rising interest rates, and the rent, which is still going up across yeah. the metro. Want to start with Denver 7's Colette Bordelon on this topic, who uh, you are diving into the details of this new report, which shows we may have taken a turn. It's just dropped ever so slightly, Brian and Nicole. I am still a far away from ever thinking I could buy a house in this market here in Denver, but it is encouraging news for all of us. Now, the Denver Metro Association of Realtors sales report for May is being released this morning. That shows the average closing price for a home in Metro Denver went down 1%. The price is still high at nearly $715,000. It's still up 15% from a year ago, but the month to month change went down. And if you're buying active listings went up nearly 14% from April and get this 76% from a year ago. We saw a little bit increase in supply, which is normal for that type for this time of the season. We saw a little increase in close sale. And we even saw a little decrease in prices. But overall, with the economy being a little more unstable and inflation and all these other factors, once again, housing is a very stable factor in the community. If you're looking to buy, Andrew Abrams, who you just saw there, says you might not have to give up your appraisal or inspection rights. You also might not have as much competition out there right now. Of course, if you are looking to do that, your best bet talking to a realtor and finding out what to ask for. Live this morning, Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. All right, little bit of encouraging news there. Thank you, Colette. The rising interest rates are having an impact on the mortgage business. They, they don't have as much business right now. We looked into the numbers and applications for new loans are down about 14%. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, applications to refinance are also down 75% from this time a year ago. If you want to get some cash out of your home, there are other options like a home equity line of credit or HELOC. It allows you the flexibility to tap into that equity, to be able to move it around, buy other properties, pay things off, build stuff, whatever, whatever floats your boat. You know, if you're just looking for twenty, thirty thousand dollars out to refinish a basement or something like that, and you did take advantage of lower rates, we're probably going to advise a HELOC, you know, of some sort. And while interest rates are going up, mortgage rates have actually dropped a bit in the past couple of weeks because of falling treasury bonds. If you're renting, we don't have to tell you prices of that are going up as well. We went through a rent.com report that found the average studio apartment in Denver is now $1,700 a month. That's up 6% over the last year. Kind of breaks down like this though. Rent.com says Denver neighborhoods like City Park West, Berkeley and Spear are driving up that average price. If you're looking for better prices, Rent.com says Arvada, Westminster, Lakewood and Aurora are more affordable.